In this video, we will look at grouping, where sometimes we must change the order of the terms in the expression. When we attempt to factor by grouping, and the binomials don't match, we'll need to change the order of the terms. We do this by moving the second term to the end. Let's take a look at some examples where this happens. In this problem, when we attempt to factor by grouping, on the left side, we find that there is no common factor, so we factor out a 1. This gives us 12a squared minus 7b. On the right side, we see a common factor of a. This gives us 3b minus 28. Notice our factors do not match. This will not work for factoring. Instead, we will take the second term and move it to the end of the problem. When we do, we get 12a squared plus 3ab minus 28a minus the 7b. And now we will attempt to factor by grouping again. On the left side, we now have a GCF of 3a. This leaves us with 4a plus b. On the right side, we have a factor of negative 7. Notice we kept the negative matching the sign from the problem. This leaves us with 4a plus b. Notice when we rearranged the problem, we ended up with matching binomial factors. 4a plus b is that matching factor. The other factor comes from what's left when that's factored out, the 3a minus 7. And this becomes our factored solution. Let's try another problem where we find out we have to change the order of the problem. In this problem, when we split down the middle, on the left side, we see we have a common factor of 2. This leaves us with 3xy minus 10. On the right side, there is no common factor, so we must factor out at least a positive 1. This leaves us with 8x minus 15y. And as we can see, we did not get matching binomials. In this case, we will again rearrange the problem, moving the second term to the end, so we have different groups to work with. This now is 6xy plus 8x minus 15y minus 20. We will now attempt to factor by grouping again. Splitting after the middle term, we get 2x for our common factor. This leaves us with 3y plus 4. On the right side, our common factor is going to be negative 5. Notice when the middle term was negative, we brought the negative with the GCF. This leaves us with 3y plus 4. Now we have that matching common factor that we were searching for. 3y plus 4 is the first factor, and 2x minus 5. The rest of the problem becomes the second factor. While we... while most of the time we can factor the problem the way it's written, on rare occasion, moving the second term to the end is necessary, which we discover after trying to factor the GCF, and we found the matches the binomials did not match. Only in this case do we need to move the middle... the second term to the end, and that will give us new groups, and hopefully, an expression that can factor.